what's up welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I laid this wig and styled it if you guys are interested in purchasing this wig all information and links will be in the description bar down below so make sure you check it out and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and jump right on into this video I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you at the end here is the wig that I'm going to be installing today. It is a highlighted wig that I purchased myself off of Amazon. I actually purchased this wig a long time ago and I'm just now getting around to putting it on for the first time. As you guys can see, it has been washed. That's why it looks a little bit crazy. I also went in and plucked the hairline and I added a strip of that like scar camouflage strips. I will link those down in the description box as well. I bought those from Amazon. I've seen so many videos of people using the Scar Away little silicone strips. I don't really know what they're called to conceal the knots. This wig did come with bleached knots, but it only had the knots bleached along like the first two inches of the hairline. So I wanted to try this method out and see how it works. I'm just gonna show you guys how I install this wig and style it and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I already plucked the frontal. It did come pre-plucked. I just wanted to pluck it a little bit more. Um, and then I have it set as a deep right side part because that's what I was feeling. And this wig is, I believe, 18 inches. All the specs will be in the description box and down below. And here is what the hairline is looking like now that I have plucked it. And it doesn't look too bad. So I purchased this wig to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone. Y'all know a majority of the wig, hello, come on, clip. Y'all know a majority of the wig reviews that I do here on my channel are synthetic. And while I love synthetic wigs, sometimes recording those videos can be monotonous and I am somebody who has to be like stimulated and I can't be doing the same thing all the time or I get burnt out. So I was like, you know what? I really want to step out of my comfort zone and do something different. I still want to do wigs and hair related videos, but I don't want to upload the same video all the time, if y'all know what I'm saying. And I'm just gonna use my Got To Be Glue free spray to adhere this wig down because I know I'm gonna be taking it off at the end of the day. <laughs> but yeah, I did a poll on my YouTube community tab asking you guys what made you subscribe to my channel, why are you subscribed, blah, 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 whatever. And the options that I put on there were wigs, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, or makeup, or I had an option for like, I'll watch it all. You know what I'm saying? And a majority of you guys voted for wigs. If not, I watch it all, which really warmed my heart. But can I be honest with y'all? Because y'all don't be watching all my videos like that. And that's fine. Because I can't say that I watch like 100% of everybody's videos that I'm subscribed to. You know what I'm saying? But... I just felt like I needed to do something different or I was going to explode. back and it has been a good minute since I used the spray and adhered this wig down. I went ahead and filmed this makeup look for Instagram so if you want to see what my favorite summer makeup products are, like my current favorites, my go-to's, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Cassie that girl. Let's go ahead and see what this lace is looking like sis. <laughs> 
I'm just combing through the hair so that it can like loosen up and get rid of that cast from the spray because don't nobody want crusty edges. Well, I don't. I don't know if you guys could tell, but when I took the scarf off, the lace looked really dark against my skin and the lace on this unit was like a medium brown. So I was kind of surprised to see that it had almost dried to look darker. So I went in with my sponge and my foundation and I just dabbed the foundation along the hairline because like I said, I had done my makeup and obviously where my scarf was tied and laid, I didn't apply makeup underneath my scarf. And then I added some powder to blend in the lace and that didn't work. But I remembered, I can't remember whose video I watched, so I'm really sorry. I went in with my setting spray. I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I sprayed that very lightly along the hairline. I didn't want to do too much because you don't want to lift your lace because the Gossipy Glue Free Spray is obviously like water activated. So once you apply water or any type of moisture, it's going to lift. So I did it very lightly and that settled all the powder and the makeup and this is what we're looking like now this side is still a little bit crusty it's a little crusty but i feel like the sides are always super hard to lay down but i'm really happy with how this area is looking so i just heated up my hot comb to the 15 on my hot comb <laughs> and i'm just going to flatten out the parting space i'm still not sure if i want to wear this wig curly or if I want to straighten it out. I'm sure I'm stuck, not once or twice, but every time you thought that we did all right. But I thought it through, and I'm missing you. And I promise I'm, promise I'm better now. What are you holding against you? If you say that you don't want to get close to me, close to what we used to be. But I just feel like this. Here is the finished look. I really like how this turned out. And yeah, this hair is super pretty. It holds a curl really nicely. I did brush out the curls that I put in just to get like this effortless type of like body wave. Really cute, sexy, like date night type of vibe. I did spray down the curls with some Gossipy Glue Free Spray. Any hairspray would work just so that they would hold a little bit and have some structure. But yeah, I am really happy with how this look turned out. I know this wasn't a typical wig review that I do here on my channel, but if you guys wanna see more like wig styling videos or like hairstyle videos, I would love to do that. I just feel like I've been put in a box. I put myself in a box and I don't wanna do that anymore. I want to venture out and do some different things here on my channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out and it also helps my channel grow. And speaking of growing, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, hit that red button down below, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.